Hi there! Today we are going to talk about brain drain. So do you know what brain drain is? Okay, we are going to discuss it. So now I think you will get something from this. Okay. If we consider about the current situation of Sri Lanka, brain drain is the biggest problem we are going to face in right now. So, what is brain drain? Brain drain is the moving of human capital from one area to another area or from one industry to another industry. This situation can be seen in the third world countries which are also known as the underdeveloping countries. The term of brain drain was created by the British Royal Society in the early 1916. With the current economic meltdown of Sri Lanka, lot of scholars are leaving the home country. People like doctors, engineers and chartered accountants and other professions are causing this brain drain. Sri Lanka is a country with free education and free health system. So, these two industries are affected very badly from this pain drain. As there is a shortage of professors and lecturers, some government universities have decided to close some departments. The health sector also faced a major problem of providing equipment and medicine, and also they are lack of uh, skillful doctors and surgeons. Not only these two industries, but also, it is the same situation goes with the other industries too. After the economic meltdown, many industries are in a big turmoil. As Sri Lanka is still a developing country, so there is still a lot of problems we have to face too. Sri Lanka is limited of quality educational, especially high educational institutions. There is also a lack of high paying salary jobs in engineering, IT and medicine fields. Even their salary is lower comparing with the developed countries. So many people go abroad for their higher studies and jobs because there are no facilities or good salary for them. And when they found a good job there, they won't return again. This is a bad situation for their home countries. They just want to find a satisfying job which suits their qualifications. And if they are satisfying, they won't return again. Many domestically trained individuals want to serve their country but they can't help themselves from being overseas for their opportunities. They expect high wages and competitive working conditions which suits for their qualification and they also want to find a suitable job which goes with their education level. It's because they just want to live a comfort life in the future. There is also advantages in brain drain too. When people go overseas, they can earn money, especially dollars for their home country. They can send that to their families in Sri Lanka. So in this way, we can found dollars. We can overcome the economic crisis with their help. So what can we do to avoid a situation like Bengren? We can do many things. This situation can be avoided by investing money in education and research fields. It will help us to create a most suitable and most skilled workforce. It can reduce the need of being overseas. And it also help us to keep our professionals in our country too. We can save our human capital from providing them enough resources. Providing competitive salaries and benefits will keep the professionals happy and safe in their own countries. So goodbye, we can meet in another video.